Hi, I'm Steve Gill with your daily video notes for November 28, 2011. Well, we're moving from the marathon phase of the Republican nomination process to the sprint phase as Newt Gingrich has moved to the front of the pack at exactly the right time to take advantage of momentum and timing to boot. He's moved ahead in the polls in Iowa and has moved to the front of the pack in New Hampshire as well. Most importantly, over the Thanksgiving weekend, Newt Gingrich got the endorsement from the very important and influential Manchester Union leader, an endorsement that Mitt Romney wanted. Now, things are still looking pretty good for Mitt Romney in New Hampshire. New Hampshire. He still has a lead, although New Hampshire is in play for Newt Gingrich and some of the other contestants. The battle in New Hampshire, though, is just the precursor to what happens next in South Carolina, in Florida, Nevada, and beyond. But for Newt Gingrich, he is peaking at exactly the right time. Every candidate in the race has wanted to be the last conservative standing against Mitt Romney, and Mitt Romney is poised to have his surge when everybody else has already had their surge and fall behind. He's poised to do it at the right time. We'll see whether or not he can sustain it over the next six weeks. But time is on Newt's side. And also, you're starting to see in Newt Gingrich a little bit of the swagger of a candidate that feels good about where they are at exactly the right time of when they are where they need to be to be able to win. Take a look at this clip where he's not only toying with Barack Obama, but making light of the fact that Barack Obama can't debate him without use of a teleprompter. As your nominee, I will challenge him to seven Lincoln Douglas style debates. Yeah. These debates will have a moderator but I mean, they'll have a time feeder, but no moderator. Two adults talking about the nation. I've already said that if he wants to use a teleprompter, that would be fine with me. <laughs> Again, a lot of the other candidates have seen their rise and fall in the primary process to date, but Newt Gingrich's rise is coming at exactly the right time to put him in position to be the last conservative standing against Mitt Romney. You're seeing the swagger, you're seeing the attitude and the body posture that shows a guy who looks like he's got the winning edge. We'll see if he can play it out in the next six weeks. I'm Steve Gill. We'll have more to come in the daily notes in the weeks ahead. Stay tuned right here at gillreport.com.